Hey, what's up, everybody? Triple B back here with you. I hope you guys had a fantastic weekend. My weekend was pretty awesome. I got to spend two days at the Philly Show out in Valley Forge here in Pennsylvania. Hung out with Scotty Aranya both days. I met up with him. We rode out together. Uh, just fun times, man. You take a two-hour car ride with that man, it feels like uh, a half-hour car ride. Just tons of laughs, tons of fun. But while at the show, not only do we get to see some amazing cards, we get to hang out with some uh, fellow YouTubers. So bear with me. I have a list here from both days. Just want to acknowledge some of the awesome people I got to hang out with and meet. Uh, first off, Reese ND Card Ranger. Uh, met him at the December Philly show. Man, we're just going through. There's a little hot corner back there. Uh, guys got some awesome uh, discount boxes. Uh, as you saw, Scotty gave him a shout out. It's Rookie Rarities, Ian. Uh, he always hooks us up, takes care of us, has some amazing deals back there. Uh, but back in December, man, I'm just going through a box, chit chatting with a guy standing next to me. Um, you know, he's pulling cards for me, I'm pulling cards for him. Um, turns out, you know, it was Reese. Um, you know, we've been chit chatting back and forth on YouTube. He's been contemplating making a channel. He finally made his first video uh, here the other week. He just posted his second with his Philly Show recap. So I highly recommend you guys go check him out. I will drop a link in the description. Uh, but I think you guys will not be disappointed with his content. Um, as well as some of the awesome cards he picked up over the weekend. Including a big banger. Uh, but also with meeting you know, Reese being there. I saw Reese before we even got into the show. Uh, we were standing in line waiting to get in. And we saw each other and we're like, yo, hey, what's up, what's up? Um, I gave him a little package and um, for him to open. And he gave me, he's like, here, man, I had this card. It, it, it's got to go to you. And to steal one from Scotty around you, man, he, he, he punched me in the dick. <laughs> I mean, he hooked me up with a huge PC card. And Reese, I can't say thank you enough. It is much appreciated. And I'm so happy to add that to my collection. Uh, we'll show that off here shortly. Also, on Friday, we got to meet and hang out with Ricky Clark. What up, what up? Uh, just a super fun guy, just awesome, uh, just like Reese, man, uh, just fun to hang out with, had a blast, had some laughs, uh, picked up some cards, got to learn a little bit about hockey from hanging out with him, uh, he's big on his hockey cards, uh, he also, uh, posted a recap video, I will link him in the description, because if you are not watching him, you need to be just a guy with a lot of personality, a lot of fun, and, uh, definitely gotta check him out, watch his stuff. And see his pickups and he got for he got an amazing card he showed it to us on Friday Scotty and I have this awesome beautiful hockey booklet um, I'm not gonna say nothing more than that go check his video out just a fantastic card I'm not even a hockey guy and I was blown away with the looks on that card um, really makes me wish they would do some baseball stuff like that um, but yeah definitely check out Ricky also on Friday um, I'm going through uh, a discount slab box and uh, a gentleman come up to me and he's like, Hey man, do you make YouTube videos? And I'm like, I do. He's like, Oh, yeah, I watch you. And uh, it was kind of a little surreal. I was like looking around. I'm like, you talking about me? Uh, but I give a shout out to Diego. Um, thank you, man, for coming up and saying something, saying hi, hanging out with us for a little bit, helping me search for some, uh, cards for a set. I'm going to try to work on. Appreciate you finding them, pulling them aside for me. Uh, there was a couple that I, I needed. So thank you so much for that and just hanging out and being awesome. Um, so that pretty much covers Friday. I'll go over my pickups here shortly. Uh, but on Saturday, man, it was like a star-studded uh, YouTube event, getting to meet a couple guys, a couple Hall of Famers, YouTube Hall of Famers. Uh, again, man, hooked up, hung out with Reese and Ricky Clark on Saturday. Um, again, was with hanging out with Scotty. Uh, but then also got to meet Ed Wesker Griff, uh, Ray from Philly, Mike O., uh, Phillies fan, again, Scotty was with me, uh, I believe there was one or two other YouTubers, and I do apologize, I forgot your names, I will have to get with Scotty, I know he knows everybody, um, but definitely check out Scotty's video coming out, uh, we did something pretty cool, I thought it was awesome, uh, Scotty's got some video and some pictures, so he'll be showing that off, but it was cool just to meet some of those guys that I've been watching on YouTube for the last, uh, year and a half, and just, I mean, all of them are just like you see in their videos, just... Uh, normal guys, awesome guys, fun to hang out with and chat with, had a blast. Uh, we all did get a, a group photo with most of us in it. I don't believe, I know not everybody was in it that was there on Saturday, but 
Uh, it was a good group of us. Um, Got to give a huge shout out to John and Lane from Great Moments, Westminster and White Marsh. They were there, as always, at the Philly Show with a booth set up. If you guys don't know, I work part-time for John at his Westminster store. Uh, so, Lane, thank you for uh, letting us uh, kind of conjure there as a group and take our picture. Uh, it was much appreciated. And, John, thank you so much for just all your help in one of my pickups. Um, even uh, had a card that I picked up for my PC. Uh, but just thank you for, you know, being patient with me and answering all my questions and, and um, you know, making sure I'm making a good decision. It's uh, it's very, uh, very, you know, your help is very valuable to me. Um, I, I just can't say thank you enough for helping me out with that. So enough with me rambling like this, as Mike, a baseball collector, would say. Let's flip the camera around and I'm going to show you off what I got. I'll be right back. All right, welcome back. All right, so let's jump into this. As I stated, uh, I met up with Reese. Got to see Reese before we even went into the show on Friday. And, man, like I said, for the lack of a better term, he just punched me. I mean, he hit me hard with a PC card. And I can't say thank you enough, Reese. Um, and that was this 1974 Tops Brooks Robinson. And that is a PSA Authentic Auto. As you can see there, signed in ballpoint pen. So, very cool card. Reese, dude, thank you so much, man. And... Hit me with that card, as you'll see as I go through a couple more pickups here. Um, it inspired me to, to pick up some other cards over the weekend. So, dude, I can't say thank you enough um, for hanging out, you know, becoming, you know, being just a, a, a great friend uh, that you're quickly becoming. Uh, man, I had a blast. Can't wait to do it again. And, man, congratulations on your huge pickup. And I really hope that the little, ba the little box of... Um, we'll give your care package that I gave you, um, you know, I, I just hope it, uh, you know, I hope you find it just as awesome, as cool as I do with this, man. I can't say thank you enough. Um, also, like I said, I got to meet Ricky Clark and he hooked me up with a cool, you know, nice little care package and I will get into that here in a future video. Also going to give a shout out to Jake from Great Lakes Breaks. Uh, Jake, I got your package in the mail the other day and with the hecticness of going to the Philly show for two days. I haven't had a chance to get into it, but I will uh, do a video with this package from Ricky as well as your package. So, Jake, thank you so much for that. Greatly appreciate it. All right, so let's get into some quick show pickups. Um, first thing is the Topps Chrome Update Family Business Tony Gwynn. It's the last card I needed for... The insert sets from Chrome Update. I now have a full base set, as well as the both up uh, both uh, insert sets. So that was awesome. Also, Scotty uh, Spidey from Around Your Boys hooked me up with some awesome PC cards before we even got to the show. So we have the Chrome Decades Best Jim Palmer, the '85 Mike Mussina reprint. We have the. Decades Best Chrome, Cal Ripken Jr. We have the Nolan Arenado 85 insert. That is a little player PC I've been working on. And then also got the Decades Best Gold, Eddie Murray, which is numbered 30 of 50. So very cool, Scotty. Thank you so much for thinking of me and hooking me up with those. And also, he hit the Brooks Robinson short print out of top series one and he hooked me up with that as well as you can see we got a uh, nice little Brooks Robinson theme going on here so that's very cool again Scotty can't say thank you enough for thinking of me and hooking me up and while we're talking about Scotty he also hooked me up with a few other awesome awesome cards so I'm gonna I'm starting now that I got the chrome sets done uh, I think I'm gonna start working on trying to pick up the base autos I know the, the big four are going to be the tough ones to get, um, but I have a ton of them. I'm working through them. So he picked me up this Pablo Lopez base chrome auto. He also picked me up the Astadillo base chrome auto, so I can work on that set. And then he also hit me up with a, in another player PC. That is this leather and lumber, uh, just three little napkin pieces of jersey of Austin Hayes. 
And lastly, he hit me with that. The 82 Don Russ Cal Ripken Jr. rookie card. And, I mean, just look at that card. That card is fantastic looking. You know, the centering, the coloring, everything. That is fantastic. Scotty, I can't say thank you enough, brother. Um, so awesome that you could go with me, hang out with me, and enjoy the ride that this weekend ended up being. I'm glad to have you by my side. Also, picked up from another dealer, uh, another Austin Hayes rookie auto. This is from 19, or 18 Diamond Kings. This is the rookie signatures, number to 49. Uh, Diego, that I mentioned in the opening, um, that I got to meet and hang out with, he found this Nick Shufo uh, in, a, in a box for, I think, two bucks or something. So that is another one I needed for the base rookie auto set from Chrome. Also, I had taken a card to get roll card reviewed by Beckett, and they cut it off right away on Friday. So I pulled the Fernando Tatis Jr. Chrome Refractor out of 20 Heritage. Um, so I ended up being able to flip that to a dealer and picked up this base Austin Riley rookie from 2019 Chrome, as well as um, uh, I think I got like an extra five bucks or something in my pocket out of the deal. So I will take that. Also, from back in the little hot corner that we found where we met Reese back in December. I picked up some cards from Ian. So we have the Daniel Ponce de Leon. That is the purple refractor auto numbered to 250. Again, I think I might have the base of this, but that card just looks fantastic in the purple. Speaking of Daniel Ponce de Leon, there is the first base Bowman Chrome card uh, autographed. If you saw my December video, I picked up a First Bowman auto of this guy here from the Reds, Tyler. My, yeah, Tyler. <laughs> um, I think the Reds are going to be a dark horse candidate uh, this year. So that is also the refractor version to 4.99 out of 2018 tops. Also picked up this nice Tyler Skaggs Bowman prospect auto. Um, you know, tragic with what happened with him, but couldn't pass on the opportunity to pick one of his autos up. So very cool. And then I also was able to pick up a couple vintage cards. Again, all these cards were 50% off. Um, and he ended up making me a package deal, so I got them for less than that. But there's the 78, yep, 78 Steve Carlton. Also picked up the 1970 Steve Carlton. And then the last card I picked up, I'm not sure what the year is. I know it's got a big old crease in it. Uh, but when everything worked out, I got the card for like a buck or a buck 50. And that is this early win. So very cool vintage card there and then i was able to pick up a couple slabs for some really good deals uh first one being the 74 orioles team card i believe i got that for five bucks also picked up a 75 brooks robinson also again for five bucks so i uh, have a 69 in my collection 60 no 68 brooks robinson in my collection currently so I'm now going to work on the player era run of Brooks Robinson cards. So very cool. Also for 10 bucks from that same dealer, I picked up the 82 Ripken Tops Traded rookie card in a 5. But you know what? It's a PC card for me and I'm fine with that. So very cool. And from another dealer, for $10 I picked up the 64 Brooks Robinson in a 4. Just Love the uh, the vintage cards. So, very nice. And then from that same dealer, I was able to pick up this. 1962 Early Win. And that is in a Near Mint 7. Got the card for like 15 bucks. The holders beat up on it a little bit and cracked. Uh, but the card is perfectly fine. Uh, but it is a Near Mint 7. 62 tops card of a Hall of Famer. So I will take it. And last but not least... My big pick pickup from Saturday or from Friday was this 1968 Tops game Mickey Mantle in a PSA three, and I picked that up from MJW Collectibles. Michael, uh, check him out, guys. If you need anything, there's his email, phone number. Uh, he's got a Facebook page. Uh, awesome guy. He's got some awesome vintage cards, and um, yeah, just super cool guy. Always always takes care of me. 
I picked up my first mantle ever from him. That was the 66 back in December. So that was awesome. Also, if you guys saw Scotty's video of his Friday wrap-up, he picked up a huge stack of these 68 game cards. And he hooked me up with the doubles. And Scotty, i got to say, man, thank you. I am now only six cards away from having the complete set. The biggest one I'm missing now is the Clemente. Um, but Scotty ended up with a full set out of everything that he got. So that is awesome. I know he is doing a giveaway with those. And the last thing I have to talk about real quick from Saturday, as you guys are aware from the beatdown I put on Scotty, as I smack the camera and destroy everything, um, you guys know that I was able to pick up these two Series 2 retail packs for a buck each. And yes, I did hit the bat down. Um, it was just unbelievable. We were sitting in the car Friday night getting ready to leave the show to drive home. And, uh, you know, Scotty's already told the story. I told it a ton of times yesterday. But, yeah, man, I mean, I hit a bat down out of one of these. And the odds are, like, one in, like, almost 900 packs, I think. To hit a, a super short print, but let alone to hit the Acuna bat down uh, was unbelievable. If I can figure out how to do it, we'll throw a picture of the of that card in here right now. So, hopefully... Hopefully, like I said, I'll be able to figure that out and insert a picture there. But that pretty much ended Friday. Um, had just a huge mini freak out the whole way home. Scotty and I were just having a hoot and a holler. And there's another little story that goes into what ended up going on with that card. And the reason I'm having to show you guys a picture of it is uh, I do not have the card. I did flip it at the show yesterday on Saturday. Um, but, I, yeah. Yeah. So, let's get into what I picked up on Saturday. I didn't pick up much. I picked up five cards. Two of the cards I don't have, um, I submitted them with SGC. It cost me $35 to send two cards in. That was $10 a card plus $15 shipping. And they are like a 20-day turnaround. So, I figured, why not give them a shot? So, the first card I submitted with them was a 1991 Topps Desert Shield Calvert Con Jr. Record Breaker card. Picked that card up for like 35 40 bucks um, at the show. So I turned that in, wanted to get it slabbed. Uh, I have no doubt that it's it's real and it's authentic. Uh, the gentleman I bought it from is somebody I trust within the community. Um, and that and this is what he does. So if he if he tells me something, I have no reason just not to believe him. Um, the second card that I picked up that I turned in with them was a 2019 Topps Chrome Update. Luis Arias uh, Base Auto. So they had a Trey Young Prism Auto from Basketball in one of their holders, and the card looked fantastic. So can't wait to see what the Chrome card looks like in their holder. But it, for the, the cost in the 20-day turnaround, <laughs> sold. All right, so let's jump into the couple pickups I made on Saturday. Uh, these first two cards I was able to, uh, I got in a package deal. Uh, Reese was able to pick up a couple cards. Uh, first one, this is a 1940 Jake Powell. Uh, play ball card, so I just wanted to add a play ball card to my collection. I uh, was able to pick this up for a couple bucks. Uh, Jake played for the Yankees, as pictured here. Also played for the Phillies, and I believe one other team. So very cool to have that in my collection. Also sticking with that theme, I picked up this 1941 play ball. So I now have a 40 and a 41 play ball card in my collection. And this is Sam Chapman in a three. And he played for the Philadelphia Athletics. So, very cool. Very happy to have those in my collection. And also, I almost forgot. I picked this up on Friday. Um, just an Oriole PC card for me. And that is a 2018 Heritage Real One Autograph of Chance Cisco. It is in a Beckett 9.5 Gem Mint with a 10 on the auto. I think I gave like 10 or 15 bucks for this. Um, I know he, most people don't think he's got a huge upside. Um, and he's just holding the place for Adley Rushman until he's ready. Uh, but he has a chance to do some good stuff with that club. Him and Austin Hayes, um, you know, they, you know, two of the younger guys, uh, they have a chance to come up and be some pretty big leadership along with Trey Mancini. So excited to see how that goes for him. But for the cost, I couldn't pick it up. All right, so let's get into the last big thing of the, the day to talk about, and that is what happened to my Ronald Acuna Jr. What happened to the bat down card that I pulled? Um, I, like I said, I flipped it. You know, when I hit that thing Friday night, man, I was texting Coach, uh, Jake from Great Lakes Breaks, uh, 
Ricky Clark, you know, Scotty and I were freaking out. After talking with Scotty on the drive home, uh, one of my grail cards for this year is the Hank Aaron rookie card. And as we were leaving on Friday, before I even hit the dat bat down, uh, I found a guy that had an SGC authentic graded card. I think it was in pretty rough shape. And he was asking, I think, like six fifty for it. So after talking it out with Scotty, I came up with a plan. Let's see if I could flip the bat down and make a play at the Hank Aaron rookie card. So I was able to flip the bat down card, and I picked it. Uh, this gentleman right here, uh, Charles, or Chuck, uh, super awesome guy. He's always at the Philly show. He's set up back behind where the Beckett booth is always. Just awesome guy. He hooked me up with the Austin Hayes in that trade we made Friday. And uh, he was able, I told him, showed him the card. We talked, told him the number I wanted, told him what I was trying to do. And he took care of me. You know, um, he, he, you know, he bought the card for me for what I was asking, which was fair on both ends. You know, I made obviously some money off of it coming out of, you know, a $2, you know, I spent $2 on two packs and I hit it. Uh, but I left some room, you know, he had room to move on it. Um, or he could grade it and see if he could get a number, a good number out of it. So, unfortunately, I wish I could put the Hank Aaron up here and show that to you. Just wasn't able to make the deal happen. Uh, I could have made it, made it happen, but, you know, it wasn't worth strapping myself and spending all my money on one thing. And I'll tell you what, as the day went on, man, it was tough not to buy everything I saw from Tatis rookie autos that were a good deal, Acuna autos. Um, but, man, I, you know, being I sold the bat down, I really wanted to turn it into, uh, I want to say an iconic card. But I wanted to turn it into a centerpiece of my collection at the time. So, unfortunately, I did not make the deal happen on the Aaron rookie. Uh, that's going to have to wait for the National. But I was able to turn the Ronald Acuna Jr. 2018 Top Series 2 bat down super short print into this bad boy. And that is the 1956 mickey mantle it is an sgc one and as you guys can clearly see the reason it's a one is that big old chip right there on his cheek uh if you ask scotty he's got another reason as to what that is <laughs> i mean the card's got a couple creases in it uh, but the centering looks good on it the back looks good on it you know it's got wear but i mean <laughs> This is a card that wasn't even on my radar going into the show. Not that I thought it as being unobtainable. Uh, it was just something that I wasn't prioritized on with trying to buy. Same with the Aaron. But, you know, I hit that bat down and I had the opportunity to try to turn it into something fantastic. And I did. I'm super happy with it. I still walked away from the show with some cash in my pocket. Um, you know, which was the cash I took. So that's going to go back into the kitty for the National. And we're going to try to make that deal happen for the Aaron Rookie at the National. So guys, I appreciate y'all hanging out and listening to me ramble. Also got to give a huge shout out to a bunch of the dealers that hooked me up. Yeah, like I said, man, Chuck, CMB Cards, uh, worked with me all weekend. We have Rookie Rarities, Ian, back there in the corner, uh, always has amazing deals. Uh, Brian from SGC, you know, hooking me up. Um, giving those guys a shout uh this gentleman here uh his son hooked me up with his card his son was there he had some just base baseball cards some bowman chromes and um man i tell you what the, the deal the, the kid win he was wheeling and dealing so very cool and lastly again a huge shout out to michael mjw collectibles uh he hooked me up with a couple mantles uh, not this mantle oh, but i did get the the play ball or the not the play ball the game card from them as well as my 66 back in february so huge shout out to those guys awesome dealers fantastic guys always at the philly show but guys thanks for sticking with me so all i've left to say is thank you thank you thank you i'll see y'all soon later